All right, guys, I'm going to show you a um, software called Stop Motion Animator, and this is an app that's free on the Chrome Web Store. Um, so if you go to the Chrome Web Store and then you actually down, um, actually type in that little uh, rectangle up at the top and just type in Stop Motion, I'm going to hit Enter, and then down in the App section, you're going to go ahead and click on that. And then this is a simple tool for creating your own stop motion animation using a webcam. All right, so it works very easily. I've already have it installed. So all I have to do is go ahead and click the green button and launch the app. Okay. All right, so here is the actual app. And I've gone ahead and launched it. And right now the screen's blank because I have my hand covering over it. Um, I also, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to load. So this button right here that my cursor is on that is for loading a file and I'm gonna go ahead and load a previous animation that I created so I click on that I'm gonna to go to that file hit open okay and then you can see a uh, actual play by play of the animation that I've created okay alright now there is um, at the top and on and off okay that's for on and off on your webcam um, basically if I click it um, it will stop the actual process of showing an onion skin which in animation it's like you see a preview of the next frame so that what you just saw a ghosting of me that was my hand off of my webcam so that's what you would see you would see the next version the next photo uh, of whatever you actually have in front of your webcam okay uh, the next button we're gonna go ahead and cover is a capture button that's what you would click to go ahead and take your individual um, frames. If you need to undo uh, a frame that you've taken, you click the um, arrow that points to the left and it will actually remove that um, frame. It actually will do several, so you can get away with doing more than one. If you want to play and review what you've done so far, you click that button. All right, and then it also can record audio. So if your um, whatever you're using has a microphone attached to it, it can pick pick up the audio, and then it can actually um, attach that audio to the frames that you're taking. So um, if you don't want the audio, you click the microphone with the uh, red line and circle through it. The next thing you want to do is you want to be able to save whatever frames you've taken. So the old-fashioned style film reel, you click on that and it's going to give you a little box and you're going to type in your actual file name. So I'm just going to call mine test1 and hit OK. And then it's going to go ahead and create a WebM file. Okay, so that file, you can, you're kind of limited with what you can do with it. I mean, you can play it in Stop Motion Animator but you can also actually play it in your Chrome browser. So if I go ahead and launch my Chrome browser and then I just clicked and dragged it into the window of my browser, it will actually play it and you can get a preview of it. And you know, there's a little button, once it plays once, you can hit it again and you can see that animation. So, but that's basically it. It's a really simple program and um, Students really enjoy getting the, you know, once they get the hang of it, they can kind of see how stop motion animation works and uh, really get the step by step. It's really hard for them to understand, like breaking it down, like you have to literally take a picture. You know, when you think about when you break down, how does somebody walk? You know, the leg slightly goes up, you know, your knee goes up and then your arm moves slightly. So they have to really pay attention to all that to create their stop motion animation. But that's it. Thank you for watching.